Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be walking you through how you can build a full AI content infrastructure in less than 15 minutes. And what this is gonna allow you to do is have a complete system that can produce unlimited pieces of content on complete autopilot. So you could be sleeping, you could be going to the gym, reading a book, watching a movie, and you're gonna get content being posted for you using ChatGPT and Zapier. It's pretty much overpowered, like this shouldn't actually be a thing, right? Because it's gonna allow you to outcompete your competition in volume, um, as well as you can just be lazy and still get content out and grow your personal brand. So yeah, this is something everyone should be doing. And yeah, it's gonna be a complete A to Z guide. So make sure to take notes and watch all the way through so you understand it. And once you've set this up for yourself and you see how powerful this is, you can then sell it to clients as a done for you service if, if you wish to do so. It could be a downsell, it could be an upsell, but it's a really valuable service that I think everyone should be using. So yeah, let's just get into this. We're gonna be using free softwares to keep it really simple for you. Um, Zapier, which is a third party integration app. So the other two softwares are ChatGPT, which is OpenAI, which is completely free to use. Um, and then we've got Buffer, which is a scheduling software, which is also completely free to use. And then we just use Zapier, as I mentioned, which is an integration app to combine ChatGPT and Buffer to basically create our posts for us. So we don't even need to come up with uh, content ideation. So we don't need to think of ideas. It's just gonna you know, use AI to create these ideas and then just post it for us onto whatever platform we want, basically insane so um the the basic premise of this content system is if we zoom in quickly and i'm going to make myself a bit smaller so you can see everything um but if we go here what we're going to do is we're going to create a system which is an automation that is going to post a tweet every single hour for us on autopilot so it's going to come up with the ideas and then post a tweet and then we can actually turn that tweet into an instagram reel and what's interesting is alex hormozzi out of the 30, I think 5,000 pieces of content he's posted in the last three years, what has worked best for him in terms of leverage is actually posting tweets as Instagram reels. And I've been doing this myself on my own profile, as you can see here with some music to, to uh, grow my Instagram page basically. So yeah, that is uh, really cool. And then from those Instagram reels, which are our tweets, we can then turn that into YouTube um, ideas so we can get title ideas from it and then once we've posted a YouTube video which is a long form we can then actually upload that to Spotify just you know in case your uh, audience likes a different way of consumption and then you can actually take the long form YouTube video and then repurpose it as shorts Instagram reels and TikToks so it's a really powerful system and I'm going to be walking you through um, how to do the first part of this because this is the most important part for the automation so let's just zoom out and let's scroll down so um, yeah, super simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk you, I'm gonna walk you through this step by step to not make this confusing because I can appreciate if you're completely new to automation and maybe Zapier, then this may look a bit confusing, but I promise you just keep watching. So the first thing we're gonna do is we need to find tweets that we can give to the AI um, that has already performed well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Twitter and we're gonna go to the explore section. And you can search for your competitors. You can search for pretty much anyone, to be honest, because um, you're going to be using your competitors in the same niche as you to basically get viral, proven tweets that have already performed well. So we don't need to do the hard work in trying to think of tweets. We can just go to people who have already you know, performed well and leverage their sort of ideas. So if we just search for business, um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click on these three dots right here. Um, and click on advanced search. This is just similar to YouTube and how you can do YouTube filters in terms of filtering um, for you know through the searches. So we're doing the same thing. We can basically um, go back to the Google Doc and copy this. So these are just some topics that I want to make tweets about and I want to automate. So you could have anything. If you're a fitness coach, you could have fitness as a keyword, or you could have. Um, real estate if you're a real estate agent um, it doesn't matter i'm personally just an automation and ai you know creator so that's what i'm going to be posting content about obviously but you can you know reiterate this to your and adapt it to your own liking so let's just copy this and then let's just go back to twitter and let's just put this in any of these words so it's going to search for any of these words and this is how we're going to get ideas 
So then any language, I'm obviously English, so I want to make content in English. So let's uh, select that language. Um, we can actually turn off filters. So we can turn off replies and we can turn off links. We don't wanna be getting comments and we don't want to be getting any links and stuff like that in our, you know, in our prompt essentially. So then we're going to put minimum replies as 50. So we want to be getting viral tweets that have already performed well. So then when we do our automated tweets, it's also gonna perform well. Um, and then minimum likes, let's do 200, just so you know they've performed well the tweets and we can get good ideas. So now you can actually do dates if you want, if you want more recent tweets, but let's just search for this. And what you'll find is it's going to give us, you know, tweets that have already performed well. So as you can see, this guy called Robin put a tweet out saying 55 AI tools to skyrocket your business to 10K a month, turning you into a revenue machine. And, you know, it's got 839 likes. It's performed well. It's gotten him a bunch of leads. So this is what we want to be posting or at least similar type of uh, content. So what we can do is we can actually just do control A to copy this entire um, thing and then control C to actually, you know, copy this information. So control A, control C, and then we can go on to ChatGPT. I'm using ChatGPT4, but you can do this with ChatGPT3 if you don't wanna pay for it, that's completely fine. And then we just wanna do control V to paste in the information basically. So now we've got all the information on that page and you don't have to do this. You can also just go to like, I don't know, let's just say Alex Hormozzi or someone, I don't know, whoever's in your niche who's doing well, you can basically just do the same thing of copying all of this and what, we, what the uh, chat GPT is going to do is it's going to make it completely unique and our own. So we're not just copying someone. It's going to put our own twist on it and our own information on it. So um, you could easily just do the same thing where you control A, control C, but obviously you want to, you would want to find a competitor in your space. Um, and then you can basically just go here and I mean, we can even just get rid of this and just paste in uh, this one, just an example. It doesn't really matter. But then now what we do need to do is we obviously need to filter this. So I've got a prompt here. So you can see that we've done step one, which is searching on Twitter. We've done step two, which is putting in keywords. And we've also just done step three. So now we just need to prompt the uh, chat GPT to, um, you know, do this. And you want to just copy that and put this into the prompt at the top. So let's just create some space and let's just do that. And now what it's going to do is it's going to create our own tweets down here. So you can see that, for example, invest in your growth, scaling a company means scaling your vision, hashtag business. So these are tweets and it's got our own unique twist on it. Um, and you can put that in the prompt as well. Um, and the reason we are doing 168, because if you keep watching, when we actually integrate this with Zapier, we want to basically post one tweet every single hour to grow our Twitter and also our Instagram, which I'll talk about in a second. And one times 24 hours a day um, is obviously 24 tweets a day we need to be posting and 24 times seven is 167 I believe so sorry 168 so that is why I would want 168 um, but you can stop it after I don't know however many you want so I think it's just on 16 but you can also click like keep generating I think um, and stuff like that so I think it's because I didn't put that in the prompt. but anyway you can get as many tweets as you want um, and then what we want to do is if we go back to the steps we now just want to create a Notion content prompt planner. So you can use Notion. You could just use a Google Doc, to be honest. And you can see that I've put all of, all of these tweets, you know, like loads of tweets in here um, of similar tweets. So dedication to your goals sets you apart in the industry. For example, that is a tweet that we'll be posting. Um, so what we can do is we can basically, um, then if we go back here, we need to go into Zapier and create this. So hopefully you should have done this by now. And um, now all you need to do is just follow these step-by-step -step instructions. So let's just dismiss that and let's go on to this tweet automation with ChatGPT. So it's a very simple zap. A zap is just a name for like a, a workflow in Sapia pretty much, um, but it's very simple. So what we're doing is we are creating the first one, which is every hour. So you'd add this as a trigger so every hour in schedule by Zapier. So this is just the uh, triggers called schedule by Zapier pretty much. Um, and then we've put the event as every hour. So if we actually click edit thing, you should be able to see this. Um, so yeah, for example, you would just go here and just put schedule. 
by Zapier. You would then just select it as every hour because obviously that's what we want to be posting. But you could post once a week. You could you could post once a day or you could post whenever you want, once once a month. I don't know. Um, but I just do every hour to grow it pretty much um, and then click continue. So then um, trigger on weekends. Yes, I want to post on win weekends. So you could you know, have that as yes or no, depending if you want to post on weekends. And then um, this doesn't really matter too much. Let's just click continue. So now um, you can pretty much just click continue with selected record. And just like that, you've done the first zap already. So it's really simple. Um, now let's do the chat GPT. So what we want is we want to search for chat GPT as a second one. Um, and we want to go for the event as a conversation click continue you now just need to link your api key so how you do this is you go to um, open ai and you basically just create a secret key which is in the api parts of open ai it's very simple and then once you've got a key you would basically just link it to your zapier and it's that simple pretty much and then once you've done that and you've linked your api key to zapier you would then just need to um, do action so this is where our prompt comes in handy so you can see that in the Google Doc, I've actually written out a prompt that we need to give Zapier pretty much. And these examples are from the Notion Content Planner, if that makes sense. So now what I've said to Zapier is you are a helpful assistant who will post tweets. And you can see that this matches with what we've got here. Each tweet must be less than 180 characters and ideally just one to two sentences long. Write one very small tweet so I tweet about business, motivation, stoicism, and entrepreneurship. Examples of perfect tweets, but you will only write one of them. So I'm giving it some examples, just three examples of what you know it should be producing. Um, so that's really simple. And you can obviously pause the video and copy this prompt if you want. Um, and you can also message me on Instagram uh, for this Google Doc here. So you can just copy and paste this into Zapier and you obviously have all the uh, details on it. Um, but yeah, that is what you'd want to do. So now for the model, you can select ChatGPT4, you could select ChatGPT3, it doesn't matter, um, just I recommend going for four. Uh, memory key, this doesn't really matter because it's not a conversation we're having with a lead, for example, but we're just posting content. Um, and then image, you can actually do an image um, by going here, I think, and selecting like... Um, yeah, the chat the image option, but we're going to miss that out. Um, and we're just going to yeah, leave this as, as it is basically. So all you need to change on the action part is the prompt and you need to have it literally like this, because if you don't say make it one, two sentences long, it will create like massive tweets basically, which are way too long. So just make sure you follow this prompt exactly how it's written out right here, basically. So this is what we're looking for. Um, and once you've done that, you can click continue. And what we can do is we can click test this uh, step. So let's just do retest and see what it does. So give it a second. And you can see that it has successfully created a, um, an example of a tweet. So if we go here, we've got the prompt that we told it to. But then here we can say, um, we can actually see what it would have tweeted. So it would have said, embrace stoicism in business. Let setbacks fuel your entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurship journey not derail it so that's a really cool quote that we can then have as a tweet automatically and this is an example of what it would post every single hour to grow our account um so um that's you know literally perfect so now just click continue and now what you need to do is you need to head over to buffer.com which is a completely free scheduling software so you can create your free buffer account and once you've done that you'd basically just want to click new channel here and you basically want to add your Twitter account into Buffer. And then what we need to do is we need to go to Zapier and we just need to connect our account. But the event would be add to queue. So it would be add to queue, click continue. And then once again, you can see that we've linked our Buffer already. But this is where you'd link your Buffer. Really simple. Um, once you're inside Zapier, you, you, you would be able to do this pretty easily. Um, and then once you've done that, you can click continue. And then for these fields, we're going to essentially map these fields. So organization, you can see that we've gonna, we're going to put um, my organization and you would be able to see this if you just link your free buffer account here. 
And I'm not affiliated with Buffer or Zapier or ChatGPT, by the way. I'm just giving you guys pure value on this channel. Um, so yeah, just in case you're thinking that, <laughs> I'm not affiliated, I promise, with any of these softwares. But um, yeah, so tags, we don't wanna include. Channel, so obviously we have our Twitter profile here, which is yeah here pretty much. And then media, so this is what I mean, you can actually add attachments if you wanted to, um, but we're not gonna do that. Um, so let's just select no attachments. And then for method, this is really important. We're gonna put the method as share now, because obviously you wanna share the tweets now. Um, and you can see that for the text, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on insert data, conversation with ChatGPT, and then you're gonna scroll down to reply, um, reply here. So you should see an example of the quote we had, which was embrace stoicism in business. Um, and now what we can do is we can quite literally, that should be done. So if we yeah, just double check, we've got all the fields correct. Uh, make sure it's share now, make sure there's no attachments. I think we're all good. So now we can click continue and we can actually retest this step. So this is just sending a test to Buffer basically, and then Buffer will send this as a tweet. So we don't actually need to do anything. Um, so you can see that it has, I believe, successfully, um, yeah, updates, shared now equals true. So now if we go to Twitter and we actually go to our profile on Twitter, what should happen is you can see that it's just posted that tweet. Embrace stoicism in business. Let setbacks fuel your entrepreneurship journey, not derail it. So we've got the quote that was, this was completely AI generated, right? And it's even done hashtags for us. And you can see this is doing it every single hour. Um, so this is honestly like the, the just the beginning of what this is essentially. And it's, you can see how powerful this is because this is going to be running every single hour on autopilot to my Twitter, just absolutely growing it, which is crazy. Um, so now we can, yeah, pretty much, I mean, we're pretty much done. So if we go back to the, Google Doc, we've done the first part of the um, of this, which is automating a tweet every single hour. Um, so now to turn this into IG Reels, so if we go to Instagram here, you can see that I post these as actual Instagram Reels, which do perform well, um, but I've noticed that I've been posting too many of them, I think. But you can see that I posted some down here. they got like, um, you know, 2,600 views. Um, 2,600 views. Okay, I've just been logged out for some reason. But um, I think that's because I've got an appointment set on my Instagram. So we can't have too many you know, people logged into my Instagram because we're going hard with appointment setting and outbound. So yeah, anyway, um, that is how you would do that. And you'd use make.com to basically send those tweets to um, Instagram reels. But I'll probably make another video on that because I haven't fully dialed it in yet. There's some uh, technical difficulties that I'm having with it. So I, I wanna make sure it's really smooth before I share it on YouTube, just so you don't have any problems. So yeah, make sure you subscribe because I'll post that video soon. Um, and yeah, I mean, have an amazing day. If you are interested in AI and you're looking to um, just get all my workflows and systems, because maybe you thought this was impressive, but I've got like 10 times better stuff than this in my school community, which will be, I think, either the second link in the description or the first link. Um, so you can check out my school community and you know, I'll help you personally with growing your business. Um, so yeah, if not, that's totally cool. Just like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss future videos just like this. And yeah, have an amazing day. Take care and you can check out more of my content up here.